In the world of mechanical keyboards, there are a variety of them and today we're going to take a look at the Leopold FC900 RPD. First of all, this keyboard is branded as a high-end mechanical keyboard by Leopold and with it, you can see that this keyboard is really solid and comes in this two-tone design here and there is minimal flex when you try to bend it. Overall, this keyboard is really really solid and heavy actually. Thanks to its weight, you can also see that these four rubber feet here don't need to be that big and you can still get a very good grip out of it. And most importantly, you also have this kickstand right here with a very big piece of rubber feet here so it will not skip off whenever you are typing. Unfortunately though, you only have a single level for your kickstand here which I personally would prefer to have two different levels so you have a more moderate incline and then a steeper incline. Continuing to look at the back of the keyboard here, we can see that there is a mini USB port at the bottom here which I don't know why they are still using mini USB. You should move everything to USB Type-C now. And then you also have these three cable routes here to cable manage your keyboard. And then you have the DIP switch here. So you have four of them and you have to refer to the user manual here to know what it does. So one particularly interesting feature here is that for switch number one, you can actually swap the positions of the left control key and the caps lock. And that is why when we unboxed it, you can see that they also included two more additional keycaps here. So this one is to swap your control key for your caps lock position and the caps lock key to be on your control key. And then in the box itself, it also comes with this keycap puller which I am never going to use because it's trash. Leopold should give wired keycap pullers instead. And then this is the aforementioned mini USB cable which again, you should move on to Type-C. And then interestingly enough, they also give you a USB to PS2 converter. As far as we know, using the PS2 port actually gives you more key rollover. And that is good if you are playing a game that requires you to press more than a certain number of keys at once. Speaking of the keys, the Leopold FC900 RPD also comes with this very interesting Cherry MX switch. This is actually Silent Raids or it is also known as Cherry MX Pinks. So as you can see here uh, or as you can hear here, the key switch per press is dampened. It has internal o-rings. So yeah, I really like this switch and whenever you type, you can hear the really satisfying thock sound. So even the space bar, they have done some special addition here where you can see there is a foam pad here and also on the metal plate itself. So whenever you hammer down the spacebar itself, you can hear that it doesn't clack, it talks. And then comes the keycaps on this FC900 RPD and Leopold actually included PBT double shot keycaps even though they are not backlit. So you can see at first glance, it really looks like dice up keycaps but when you look at the back here, it is actually made out of double shot PBT and the material here is actually pretty thick and I really like this keycap. Speaking of the keycaps itself, since there is no transparent material that makes up the PBT double shot keycaps here, that means this keyboard is not backlit at all. There is no LED other than the indicator for your caps lock, scroll lock and num lock. That's it. The Leopold FC900R has a really good user experience as well. So this keyboard is actually using the traditional chocolate bar design as you can see here. It also has a case that wraps around the entire keyboard rather than those gaming keyboards that have floating key switches like the one we have at the back there. So this keyboard actually dampens the sound by a wide margin. So firstly, it's using Cherry MX Pinks, which is also known as Silurate. So every key press is dampened and then it has internal o-rings and all the sound is trapped within the case itself. Compared to typical Cherry MX RAID key switches, I would say this one is much more pleasant to type in, especially in the office or in a really quiet room or you just have a really sensitive ear like mine.
As for the price of the Leopold FC 900 RPD here, the one that we have specifically is priced at 519 ringgit, which I think is a really reasonable price considering that you get all of these premium features and premium build right out of the box. So you don't have to buy any custom boards and key switches and slowly buy a PCB, solder everything yourself and find a compatible case, etc, etc. This one as a whole package, 519 ringgit, it's a real good deal. You can also get it in a 10 keyless version and I would personally prefer that because I don't use the number pad at all and that one is priced slightly lower as well. So if you are looking for a no frills, high-end premium keyboard with a pretty reasonable price then the Leopold FC 900 RPD is a great keyboard to get. Although we do have a few complaints like we mentioned here, mini USB, please don't move it to USB Type-C and this one, please don't use this, it will scratch your keycaps use wire keycap pullers like this and overall those are the only two complaints that we have the typing experience on this keyboard is magnificent i really love this keyboard and overall build quality magnificent and then i just really like this keyboard in general okay so yeah that's all we have to say about this keyboard and i hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one now i will continue to type on this keyboard